Hello everyone, we will continue the topic RFC and in the previous video, we covered what is RFC. We covered the introduction to RFC. Now in this video, we will cover how RFC is different from the BAPI and then we will cover what are the various prerequisites to create a RFC. Now, in the same playlist, I already covered the BAPI. Now, what is BAPI? BAPI is a function module having a business object. BAPI is never, never a standalone function module. If we are able to create a business object, of that function module, then it is called as a BAPI. And if you remember, when we created the function module, the processing type was remote enabled module. So if we will say the precise term, your BAPI is RFC function module plus business object. So BAPI is a RFC function module having a business object. Now, now whenever external system, external system is, it can be SAP system or non-SAP system. Whenever external system connect, external system will not connect with the function module. The external system connect with the business object and that business object will call the RFC function module. Just see, whenever I covered the topic BAPI, at that time, we created the business object of that particular function module. Suppose if I will go to SW01 transaction code, with the help of this, we created the business object. Suppose if I will go for any business object, if I will display this business object, you can see we have the business object. And yes, behind the business object, we have the RFC function module. So if I will double click on to this RFC function module, you can see this is your RFC function module. So your external system will not directly connect with this particular function module, this function module, RFC function module. Your external system will connect with the business object and business object will call the RFC function module. But it is not the case with RFC because whenever we will go for RFC, at that time, we will never, never create a business object. So external system will directly, directly connect with the RFC function module. Suppose in the previous video, when I gave you the simple introduction, at that time, we created this RFC function module and another system. As of now, we have SAP system is directly calling your RFC function module nothing. We are not creating a business object at all. Most important difference from the interview perspective. So yes, BAPI is your function module, RFC function module. And on top of that, we have an object. That object is calling the RFC function module. But in case of your RFC, it does not have a business object. Yes, systems is directly calling the RFC function module. And simple, in any interview, you can say BAPI is based upon OOPS concept because we have a object. Object is in the object is calling our RFC function module. And if you remember, yes, we created the method and that method is mapping the business object and the function module. So your BAPI is totally, totally based upon object-oriented programming. If you remember when we created the business object, we have totally OOPS concept. 
एट्रीब्यूट मैथड इवेंट इंटरफेसिस सो वापी इज टोटली टोटली बेस्ड अपॉन ओप्स कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव द ऑब्जेक्ट and object is calling the rfc function module but if we have only rfc function module nothing we do not have a concept of object so rfc is not based upon oops concept now now we will move on to next thing as a part of rfc whenever you will create a rfc what are the various prerequisites you need to follow if you remember when we created the bapi at that time whatever the function module we created we follow so many prerequisites because we need to create a business object at that point of time now we will not create a business object we will just create a rfc function module why rfc function module so that it can be invoked from the external system external system can be sap system it can be non sap system so we will create a function module through sc37 transaction for you all know we will create a function module through sc37 and we will follow the prerequisites what is the prerequisite the processing type we will always always take remote enabled module if we will only take regular function module it means it will only only execute in the same system now we need to call from the external system external system can be sap or non sap system so it means we need to take remote enabled module and the second thing which we followed during bapi also yes all parameters must be passed by value and anyways if we choose rfc and the parameters will not be passed by value sap will give the error automatically so yes all parameters must be passed by value if you want to learn the difference between pass by value and pass by reference you can refer the playlist of modularization technique but yes whenever we will go for this particular rfc anyways we start with the practical part all parameters must be passed by value so what is the summary of this particular video again important understanding we covered what is the difference between bapi and rfc bapi is your you can understand in a way bapi is your rfc function module having a business object business object is a layer outer layer and uh, this object is calling our rfc function module so you can think data hiding security is more because your bapi is based upon oops concept but in case of rfc there is no outer layer we are external system is directly directly connects with your rfc function module so bapi is based upon object oriented programming and where rfc is not based upon object oriented programming then we covered yes we will create a rfc function module yes through sc37 transaction code only because function module is we can create all this create through sc37 but processing type will be remote enabled module because we want to call from the another system if we want to call from another system it must be remote enabled module and second thing we all know in rfc all parameters must be passed by value it is mandatory sap will give the error itself and if you want to understand why why we have passed by value why we are not taking pass by reference you can simply refer the playlist of modularization techniques so in the next video we will start with the practical part we will take a requirement we will create a rfc function module and we will simply simply call from the another system so that's it 
in this video. Thank you.